What's up? Uh, today, I'm going to be working on the bottom of this boat. Uh, what I want to do is sand it all down, and on the bottom of the rivets, it looks like maybe some JB Weld or something like that. It, it might have been something from the factory they did. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Like I said, this is an old boat. They might have done something like that, or over the years, somebody might have went and added something to it. But it's all kind of flaking off and looks gross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a little wire attachment to my drill and just try to go over all the rivets and, and get at least most of that crap out. And then I'm going to take a little mouth sander and sand the whole bottom of the boat. Probably want to, you know, come down a little bit too and sand these rivets that's kind of on the side. And once I get it all cleaned up, go ahead and wipe it all down good with acetone. And I got some glove it that I'm going to put on all the rivets. I know I said in I think the first video that I was going to try to rebuck some of them, but uh, man, I've already got projects piling up, and I'm just going to wait to do that on another project. Uh, that glove it stuff works great, and I'm going to go ahead and use it on this project. Uh, it's not very cheap, I will say that, but uh, when it comes to making sure your boat doesn't leak, it's something I'm willing to spend a little extra money on. Uh, like I said, dude that I bought it from said it didn't leak. Uh, it was holding water because I got the drain plug issue and I didn't notice any of them leaking. But, like I said, I want to go ahead and clean it up and, uh, you know, some of this, whatever this uh, epoxy or JB Well, whatever someone has in here might be preventing some of these old rivets from leaking. So, once I knock all this crap out, I definitely want to go over all of them with something like Glove It. So, that being said, let's get to work. Right. That's what I'm saying, no. Well, I'm going to go this way. Watch your phone. It'll be all right. 
What's going on? I don't know where I'm going. That's what you're doing. What is it? You need to put it down? Okay. I'm waiting on you. All right, so I've got the bottom side of this boat completely coated with Glove It and carried it outside, washed it out pretty good on the inside of the boat, got it back in here, got it dried up. Now, what I want to do is seal the inside of the boat as well, and it's time to deal with this thing. Um, I think in the first video I said that, you know, I was going to try to get it out, and I tried. I tried heat and that didn't work yeah, I, mean, I couldn't even get it to budge and it's actually smoking and looking at it it looks like somebody epoxied it in there or something so i'm scared to put too much heat you know the risk of tearing up or warping the bottom of the boat and actually you probably see i already drilled a hole over in this side just to get the water out because i already Decided to go ahead and add another plug and what I came up with was just this brass plug right here I think I got it on eBay for like 10 or 12 bucks something like that a little two-piece uh, It's a little bit thicker than I really wanted the depth of it, but I'm going to try to find Like a little vent to go on the bottom of it kind of like this one is on the bottom to kind of protect it uh, So what I'm going to do is drill a hole out with a hole saw this is about the exact size of it. And I'm going to use silicone all the way around it and then silicone on the bolts, which I haven't even dug out any bolts yet. But what I'd like to do today is go ahead and drill out the hole for this and get it siliconed in place. And probably go ahead and drill out the holes for these and go ahead and mount it good. That way I can go ahead and start sealing all these rivets on the inside and start laying paint down on this thing. All right, guys, uh, probably kind of a boring video. It's a step that I want to do on building these boats. Um, you know, a guy I bought it from said it didn't leak. And you know, the only way to really test it is to go put it in water. Uh, you can fill the boat up with water, but I've read that the pressure of water sitting in a boat versus water coming up from a boat, like with weight in the boat, is different. Uh, you look it up and you tell me in the comments if it's true or not, I don't know. Glove it, you know, it's kind of expensive, but it's made for marine applications. So um, it, it's made to withstand water and flex that a boat's going to have, whereas stuff like JB Weld, not really made for this application. Just like on the bottom of this boat, you saw where it was flaking up. It's going to flake up over time with that boat flexes. It's not going to flex with the boat where this stuff is supposed to. So like I said, it's a little pricey. But if you measure it out, the mix ratio, you can get a pretty good bit out of that little can. Now, like I said, it's, I've not even used half of it yet, and I've pretty much got this whole boat done. We also got the drain plug fixed or <laughs> tended to. We have a drain plug put in now. 
I'm not sure that was probably the best way to go about that. It was just the easiest way that I could come up with. Uh, obviously the best way would probably be trying to get the other one out and I, it got beyond my means. You know, I tried uh, just some PV blaster on it, didn't work. I tried applying heat, it didn't work. And I didn't want to apply too much heat because I didn't want to warp the bottom of the boat. So I went with the same style or close to it, uh, floor drain. And I'm sure a lot of people wonder why I didn't go with like the, the newer style tube drain. And as you can see, the bottom part of this boat is made a lot different than newer boats. How it's kind of curled up and welded weird. Not to mention if those tube style drains really need to be welded in and I'm just scared with this old of a boat that if I would put a lot of heat like welding that it would just warp the crap out of it and I don't want to do that. So that's why I went with the, the style drain plug I did. I just thought it was the, the best way to, to address the problem. That's it. I, I mean, I know this is kind of boring video. Um, I'll probably on the next boat build, I probably won't even, you know, include this step. I'll just say, hey, I, I coated all the, the rivets with glove it or whatever instead of making a whole video about it. But uh, I'm excited about the next steps. I got to do the trailer and then the boat itself. I'm going to go ahead and get it ready to paint. I already got the paint here and I think it's going to turn out pretty good. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.